I think the world is the most amazing place. The fact that we're living on this planet where somehow the temperature works and it's only a tiny little zone where it would work. I've always been fascinated about the world itself and for me being fascinated by a globe is just a natural extension. My name is Peter Bellaby and I have a little company in North London where we make bespoke globes. I thought for my father's upcoming 80th birthday that I would buy him a globe because over the years all I bought him were socks and ties. He was a naval architect, so it's something he would engage with. So I went to stores and I saw lots of kind of school geography globes for 12 pounds. That obviously wasn't going to work. Um, I went to auction houses and saw lots of globes for 20,000 pounds and I didn't have the budget. The most beautiful globes were made 200 years ago. It's just for some reason, for the last hundred odd years, no one's been making them properly. I definitely used the old globes as a bit of inspiration, but not the techniques. It's, it's really impossible to know their exact techniques. It's like one of the old crafts, it's about learning how to make something from scratch and teaching your muscle memories to enable yourself to do a job. You really have to practice every single day and you have to be patient about it. This is the cartography and the illustration department. You have to have an amazing program that turns a flat map into the gore shapes to fit onto a globe. The other thing is with changes um, to country names and to other features, we constantly have to update with those. Pretty much every globe we make now has something that is unique to that person. And you can see on this one here, someone obviously enjoyed their holidays in Valyric Islands, and so they've got an umbrella and a couple of deck chairs. The most challenging part of making a globe is actually laying the gore, the, the triangular shaped piece of paper onto a sphere. Obviously the paper wants to tear, it wants to crease, it wants to do everything you don't want it to do. So it takes a minimum of six months to learn. So this is the painting department. So occasionally there are slight variances in the colour of the ocean, so we will match those. Each country has a different colour on its border, depending on the population density. This is essentially the base department. They make all the bases for the globes, whether it be wood or metal. Everything can be customised. This one is for an artist um, who wanted a purple globe. That's why it's such a strange colour. This one's brother, which has a meridian around, is a nightmare. It takes four people to carry the globe so our entire company can fit in the crates that this guy ships in. There's been 
a shift away from just filling your house with tons of different things. It's more about having a few select items. You can only engage with a certain amount of things in a day and it's important that those things work well, are functional, are aesthetically as good as they can be. Everything that leaves here is amazing. <laughs>